Well, our very first uh, rain test uh, was actually developed by one of our staff and uh, we're not the mechanical engineers, so um, he used a bunch of PC, uh, PVC pipe and uh, lawn sprinklers. So our previous rain test rig was not really uh, ready for the wind of Lincoln, shall we say, <laughs> and uh, uh, met an uh, unfortunate, unfortunate demise last year. At the award ceremony in 2016, I offered to any team wanting to build me a new rain structure free registration. And so we emailed her a couple months later and asked her, were you serious about that? Like, we're willing to do that for you. So we designed up a CATS model of it and sent it to her, told her how it worked and got her approval on it. And then we started making it and we brought it to our Michigan competition so that they could bring it here. So the rain test is part of our electrical inspection. We put it underneath the structure, let it run for two minutes, getting soaked by the, the water and then we turn off the water and for two minutes the car has to be running to see if it shuts off. Basically it's a safety check uh, in case we ever get rain uh, while the event's running. In the rules there's not a huge amount of specs for it. It just says it has to sit under a rain simulation for two minutes. So I just kind of looked up what average rainfall would be for gallons per minute and then bought some parts, some standard uh, water nozzles and then we made it out of an 80-20 extruded aluminum material so that it would be easy to set up for them, um, be easy to assemble and easy to take down uh, but still be fairly strong and wouldn't blow over in the high winds here. You know every every university is different some are well funded by universities some get well funded by sponsors and some have very little that they can only play with based on university restrictions so um, helping them out with a free registration that's 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 awesome so if I wanted something as sturdy as this, I would have to farm it out to somebody. And uh, to try to explain this to somebody that has nothing, not, knows nothing about Formula SA would have been hard. So my customers know what's best for this competition. Why not, why not ask them?